It's really hard to believe we're actually four years into this console generation and there's been a lot of speculation from the Xbox side from the hybrid console to the more of the final or I should say streaming stick or the final high powered console for Microsoft and Xbox. But in the leeway leading up to that, there is a specific rumor from Moore's Law is dead, even though I don't quote this guy all the time because he's been missing the mark. I know he's reliable on certain things, but some things he has been not been consistent with. These are the rumored PS5 specs that is going on right now. And if these are true, this is going to be the first console that is this powerful, way stronger than the Xbox Series X. And this is closest to equivalent to a very, very powerful PC. So let's check this out. Money, money, money. All right, people, these are the rumored specs for the PS5. I'm not that versed on what the old specs are, but this is what is going on right now. I have this post from Zuby Tech right here, but it's actually from Morzal is Dead. He is the person that came up with these rumors. Here are the screenshots that supposedly say, oh, leaked, leaked. You know, we're not here to look at that. That's I'm pretty sure it's not actual leaked overview these all could be fake but these are the specs that we can go on 33.5 teraflops 33.5 teraflops because back in the day back when the uh xbox series x and the ps are coming out teraflops was a big thing ps5 was 12 the xbox was like 16. if this is 33.5 teraflops there's been a technological breakthrough that has been going on around in the background and if this is true i don't know if it's true that's a big jump from 12 this is extreme this is a beefy boy for a console like legit and if that's real this is crazy next raw rendering 45 percent faster than the base ps5 people have a problem with the ps5 on a base level because i know some things have checkerboard rendering and stuff like that but the older ps5s and the ps5 slims that are out now they're struggling to get how should I say 60 FPS graphics and 30 FPS things running smoothly? They're struggling. We don't, it's like as soon as these consoles came out, it was already out of date, you know. But people like me, I like to play my stuff on consoles. I like my box and I like to plug and play. I don't care about all that stuff. But the enthusiast in me is very excited about this because if you guys play Final Fantasy Rebirth, there's little pop-ins and stuff like that in the background. It's just, I play the game on 30 FPS. I'm a, I'm a different case, people. I like 30 FPS over 60 for certain games, for cinematic field games and combat, stuff like that. I do like that for my Final Fantasy. But shooters and fighters and platformers, 60 plus only. I have my stipulations. But people on the other end, they do enjoy, they need that power. You know what I'm saying? The, like equivalent to what I've been reading around, this thing is equivalent to a 4070. A 4070 on a console. Bro, I don't know if you're shooting yourself in the foot. If it's a four, if it's a 4070 on a console, Sony. That that's a good you're gonna start selling consoles. You ain't got a PS5 or you're gonna start selling consoles because no one wants to spend all that money for a PC. They really don't. I know I don't. But it's going to, in that line of light right now, it's going to that. It is truly going to that right now. Next, 2.5, two times to four times ray tracing uplift. There's not a lot of ray tracing in these base games that you see right now, but you're going to start seeing some more ray tracing. Ray tracing is a feature that has been working well, but there are some hiccups in it. Not everything needs ray tracing, but it kind of slows down the development process to add ray tracing to your games. Next, AI accelerator. 300 tops 8-bit comparison. Honestly, AI in video games is a touchy subject. I should probably come out with a bigger video on this in the future, but AI is good and bad. People want smart AI for the video games to make development faster. This is great in that sense of fashion, but I know it's like 300 tops to 8-bit comparison. I'm not versed on this. What I'm, what I'm assuming this is is we're just going to have better AI compared to what they have in the background, like what they have currently. If it's better AI, it's ultimately good regardless. Regardless is good. PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution Upscaling Technology. See, this is what I'm excited about. This upscaling technology. So we can go full screen right now. Okay, people. This upscaling technology is what we've been waiting for, or at least what I've been waiting for. Meaning... 
if you can get upscaling technology for your base level consoles, it means they can build the infrastructure to bring you back old games. Microsoft was slowly upgrading their AI structure in the future. They're slowly doing it. It's in the background. I haven't made a video on it because I'm not concrete. But resolution and upscaling is what people want. They really do. Hear me out, though, people. Hear me out, please. If you can upscale your old games to be current gen, you can come out with some old remasters and potential remakes in the little dead zones when you come out with these releases. We know video game releases aren't getting any lighter. We know they're coming, but there's one major flaw. They take a long time to develop. If you could come out with some old games, bring back a remaster of Medieval. Not heck, Soul Reaver. You know what I'm saying? Because Medieval had a remake, but the, but the remaster, it has some kind of charm to it. I don't know, I just like it. Bring back Soul Reaver. Bring back the Kuji Twisted Metal Remake, even though it got canceled. Bring back some old stuff because if this is good because the modders and stuff that do the little self hacks for their old consoles and stuff like this is what they have in there something to this akin technology that's what i'm excited for man bring back old ports you can finally bring back upscale technology you can literally finally bring back that bloodborne just think if they remaster bloodborne and then have a bloodborne 2 on the ps5 pro or the ps6 a you guys have been cooking I know it's in the background. You guys ain't saying it to me, but I know it's being made. That's printing money. That's like your last ditch effort. Print that money, make it amazing like you did Demon Souls and you got a hit. But hey, people, just think, all this is speculation at this point. I will be covering more PS5 leaks in the future or gaming leaks or gaming news in the topic. So stay tuned, like, share, subscribe, and peace for some more gaming content.